intrepidine. Huh, photographer's notebook. That'll come in handy. A little pin and patch, pretty cool. And now, what we're here for, oh my God, this is so exciting. Now, for those of you who know me or have been following along with this channel, you know that I predominantly shoot with a Mamiya RB67. It was the first camera that I bought myself, and ever since I picked it up from the trunk of a car behind a Tim Hortons dumpster, I've been using it for the majority of my field work. Although I really enjoy shooting with the RB, I've always had the thought in the back of my mind, what would my images look like on 4x5 film? And so began my search for 4x5 field camera. When I first started looking for a field camera, models like the Takahara or the Zone 6 caught my eye, but finding one in good shape at a decent price point proved difficult. It was at about that time that the Intrepid Camera Company launched their Kickstarter for the very first Intrepid 4x5. The idea of a company actively building brand new 4x5 cameras appealed to me, and so I followed their story through all the modifications and improvements made from generation to generation of their cameras. By the time the Mark IV hit, I was hooked, so much so that in a previous video I referred to it as the next camera I must own. And so that's what brings us to today, the reason why we're all here, the Intrepid 4x5 Mark V. First off, uh, Intrepid did reach out to me and offered to send me this camera for free. They thought that the format would lend really well to my work and obviously I couldn't agree more. Now, this is my very first large format camera, literally the first one I've even held in my hands. So I don't think I'm qualified to give a full on comprehensive review, but I assume that there are others out there like me who have or are struggling to get into large format photography and so I thought it would be a lot of fun to take you all along on my journey learning how to use this format. Um, we're going to be taking a closer look at the functions and details of the camera but more from a beginner's approach. So that said, let's get this camera out into the field where it belongs and make some mistakes. So I made my way down to one of my favorite spots to test out new cameras, which is of this old bread truck that's sitting on my farm. It's been parked at the edge of the woods for many, many years. Nature is slowly creeping in on it, and so I think it makes for a really fascinating subject. I just want to take a second to talk about how easy it is to set this camera up. I was really surprised uh, because when I first started looking at 4x5 cameras, I was really intimidated by all the moving parts, but everything just locks into place really well. There's uh, guideline markings on the front standard to make sure that everything's straight. There's lots of handy bubble levels everywhere to make sure that your camera is level and it just moves really smoothly. Um, I've got my Fujinon W 125mm f5.6 lens set up uh, on f45. I'm a little scared to start off at f64 right away, so I settled for f45, but that's giving me a shutter speed of one eighth of a second, uh, which is also why I really like using this van as a subject, because if there is a little bit of wind, as there is today, the van anchors the scene really well, because it's obviously not going anywhere. Um, and so this is my very, very first large format shot that, I'm, that I've ever taken, and I thought it'd be a lot of fun to do this together. So let's try this out. HP5, let's wait for the wind. Oh my God. <laughs>
One thing that I gotta say about having a brand new camera is being able to focus on new ground glass. Uh, that is a luxury I've never had before, so I'm really excited about that. Um, it's, it's so big that it's almost like I don't even need to use a magnifying loop, but I do, of course, just to make sure that I am absolutely in focus. When I get under the dark cloth, it is amazing how bright this screen really is. It makes my old RB67 look really dingy and dirty, actually. I'm starting to think it might be time for an upgrade. Uh, but also, speaking of the RB, one feature about the Intrepid that I really like is that they both have the rotating back system. Uh, so. I can seamlessly go between landscape or portrait orientation uh, with very little effort and that is one thing that I'm really happy to be able to bring forward uh, working with a 4x5 camera. Uh, but for now we're going to get a shot here. Um, I'm set up in front of an old falling down treehouse. Um, I really like the tones around here so I think this is going to be a good shot. Uh, I've got the Nikkor W 180mm f5.6 lens. I'm set up on f32, one eighth of a second, still loaded with HP5, so we're going to wait for the wind to die down and get this shot. So I've been metering with this handy little gadget all afternoon and for those of you who don't know what it is, it's a Raveni Labs spot meter. Uh, it's an ultra lightweight, compact spot meter that is full of all kinds of features and if you are interested in knowing more about it, I'm working on a full-on review for this channel so stay tuned for that. But for now I'm set up in front of my last shot of the day. Uh, this. Field, this field of corn, obviously, that's around me. Uh, it has been hit by some raccoon damage, uh, and while that is unfortunate for the farmer, it's very fortunate for me because it just kind of opens up the field enough for me to be able to get, uh, get a shot. Uh, so I'm set up with the Fujinon W125mm 5.6 lens, and I'm set at f22, 1 30th of a second, so I'm gonna grab this. So there you have it, my very first large format experience. That was so much fun. One thing that I did notice about the camera that I will have to get used to is just the way that the knobs turn. On my RB, they turn in uh, the same direction, whereas on this camera, they turn in opposite directions. And I mean, it's really not a big deal. I'll get used to it as I keep using this camera, but it was something that I did notice. The other thing that I noticed is the weight of this camera. Oh my goodness, it weighs so much less than my RB. I weighed the, the whole bag at one point, a uh, full-on kit, and I think it was about 15 pounds. And since then, I've even added a few extra accessories, so I'm not even sure how much it actually weighs at this point. But this camera weighs so much less. Uh, Hiking through the woods with the RB on my back, I feel it all day long. Whereas with this camera, I had to keep checking my bag to make sure that the camera was still actually there because it just weighs so much less. And I'm actually quite grateful for that. It will be a, a pleasure bringing this out into the woods now. So thank you so much to Intrepid for sending me this camera. I'm really excited to keep shooting with it. And thank you to all of you for watching this. I really hope you enjoyed the video and you're gonna see a lot more of this in the future. So I'll see you next time.